Hi and welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm resetting the Nintendo Switch using Haku33. So you use this software if you don't have a NAND backup. This is an attempt to delete all of its previous history if it's being connected using custom firmware. So I bought this a while back and I recently fixed it and it was stuck in RCM mode. So I don't know the history of it other than it has been soft modded. So just a quick check just to show that it is still connecting to the internet. I am still able to connect it to online services, so it's not being banned. So start off just putting Haku33 into Google. That'd be one of the top comments. And then all you need to do is download the software. So I'm just downloading the latest version here, as you can see. Then you want to pop your SD card from the switch into your computer and then go into the switch folder and then just copy it across into there, like so. And then once you've done that, we need to put the SD card back into the Nintendo switch and then boot it to the custom firmware. So as this one's a soft modded console, I just need to fully turn it off. And I'll pop the SD card in, which has got the tacky custom firmware and atmosphere. And then I need to get my RCM loader. And then you just pop the jig down the right hand side of the console. Open the loader. Press the volume up and the power button at the same time. Keep hold of the volume up button. And then you should get the launcher like that. And then I'm just going to click it through. Click OK, so this is the first time that I've used custom firmware to load into this one. So I'll just go into the firmware and then get it loaded. Luckily for me, this one had already been set to airplane mode. So I'm hoping that it's not being connected to the internet, but there's no guarantees. So once that's loaded, you can remove the, the jig and the RCM loader, as I've done. And then as you can see, we boot it into custom firmware. We can pop the Joy-Con back on. Then you just need to go to the album section. And then just need to scroll along and then in there should be the file Haku33 that we've just installed. So we'll just click the A button to open it. And then there's going to be a few warnings on the screen, so you just need to follow what it says. So it's telling you not to do it if you don't have to do it. If you've got an AMP backup, preferably do that. But obviously, I've got nothing else. It's my only option. We just need to click A to, to progress some further. It keeps getting a bit more warning. Flashing red screen. It's just showing that there is no going back. This will fully reset your console. You'll lose everything on there. So press the power button. goes onto this screen. And I'll just leave it like this. So did all this and then it went off, so I wasn't sure what happened. So I left it for a good few minutes and it wasn't turning back on. So it obviously just turned itself off once it's finished. So I'll press the power button once it is done. And then I get the Nintendo logo. And then we'll get the Nintendo Switch logo. And then the red home screen, so as you can see, the console's fully been reset, everything's completely been wiped from it, so all your saved data, all the previous accounts on there, they've all gone. So I'm just going to quickly go through all the process of connecting it to the internet, etc. Setting it all up just to prove that it is going to work once we get to the end of it. And then we press the home button and then there we go we are back to a fully blank nintendo switch which has not got any custom fairway running on it we just need to update it so as i'm showing here i'm just updating it just to prove it's not being banned which is a good thing so it updates the official firmware to the latest version
and just does a little quick restart back to the beginning. And then there we go, we've got our fully working Nintendo Switch with ideally every trace of custom firmware deleted from its history. So hopefully it was never connected online, you took precautions and fingers crossed it won't get a ban. So a nice, quick, simple process. As I said before, if you've got a NAND backup, use that first. If you don't have any other alternative, then this is when you're going to need to use HackU33. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.